What's up guys, my name is Walter Fernandez and welcome to the channel. Uh, today, I would like to start off by saying that I'm sick and tired of y'all saying the Canon EFM system is dead. Now, did Canon produce any EFM lenses in the last couple years? No. Did Canon come up with any new camera bodies on the EFM mount in the last couple of years? Yes, although it missed the Canon M50 Mark II, which some would say that is probably just a firmware update. The Canon pretty much just say screw you to the EFM mount, I mean RFS, the default APRC mirrorless mount. Yes. Are these cameras and lenses still selling well? Yes, they are. Am I in denial? Probably. Now, let me preface by saying that I don't think Canon's going to be producing any new Canon EFM uh, mount lenses or cameras in the future. I think they're done uh, because they've introduced those RFS cameras and lenses. But I do think that it's such a misunderstood camera mount. And I also think that's very underrated as well. And I'm gonna be doing it in traditional YouTube five point fashion to tell you about why I don't think this mount is gonna be dead anytime soon. Point number one, I think these cameras have a place in any photographer's bag, whether you're a amateur all the way till you're a professional. For an amateur, it could be a camera you start on before you decide that you want to take this more seriously and get into the more expensive and high-end gear. It's relatively inexpensive compared to the RF cameras and lenses. As for professionals, it could function as a backup if you want to, or it could be a handy little travel camera, or even just an everyday carry camera if you want to, you know, do some photography on the fly while you're running errands and stuff. These cameras are great because they're, most of them are such a compact size, they fit in anywhere. Um, some of them are borderline pocketable, especially with the Canon M100 I shoot on right now with the EFM 22mm lens. And it's an f2 lens, but it's just so tiny, which just, I, I'm smiling talking about it right now. Speaking of the portability of these cameras, uh, my second point is that these cameras are very popular with content creators and vloggers and there is a very big reason it's because it's really tiny these cameras are small you can place them anywhere you can take them on location wherever you're going uh, without having to worry about carrying big backpacks and like you know have your weight on your shoulders on the entire time and there's a reason why the Canon M50 is still the best-selling camera in so many places right now. It's a very convenient camera, you know, it's easy to use, plus it's really tiny. And, you know, we love that. The third point is saying screw you to the Canon RF community. I'm kidding, I love the RF mount as well. But Canon recently disallowed the uh, third-party manufacturers to make lenses for uh, autofocus lenses for the RF mount. But for the EFM mount, they still work and you can still buy them. Plus, you could just adapt like vintage lenses on these, which I usually do and love it. So give it a try, maybe. Lenses are good lenses, well, most of them. Um, some of them are not, I've heard. Uh, I know most of these zoom lenses have really dark maximum apertures, they're, they're really tiny maximum apertures, but you're also missing the point here. The point of these lenses is to keep the size small, that's why they had to have the uh, maximum apertures to be small as well. Um, to keep the weight down and you can travel with a 55 to 200 and an 18 to 55 zoom lenses those two are going to cover you from 18 all the way to 200 millimeters and you know go have a good vacation without breaking your back you have the 11 to 22 which is equivalent to a 16 to 35 on full frame uh focal length as well as the 15 to 45 which is pretty much a 24 to 70 and all of these on a budget to be honest uh, with the fact of like it's probably not as sharp as these other uh, EFL lenses and stuff but you know like I said use them for travel cameras and stuff and that they will be perfect and the prime lenses are amazing the 22 millimeter f2 which I have right now costs about what 700 ringgit that's like what sub 200 dollars the 32 millimeter 1.4 an amazing lens super sharp and the macro 28 millimeter f 3.5 it has lights on it which i've never used one so i don't know how useful it really is i will get one one day when the prices go down to that i will get one one day and now to my fifth and final point they are good cameras they have good sensors they have good specs 
I mean, sort of, depending on which camera you're talking about, they share the sensors with the 90D, 80D, because Canon M100 has pretty much the same specs as the 800D. It's pretty much an 800D in a tiny body. They are not as rugged as these DSLR cameras, but they are just as useful, but they're much more portable and they have way more lens options because they are mirrorless cameras. Uh, before I wrap this up, there's one more bonus point. The Canon EFM system right now, like a lot of them are going really cheap in the secondhand market because, uh, you know, no one wants to be on the EFM system right now. They think it's dead and they're probably right. But for you and me who are staying here, you can get these gears for really cheap. So, yay. Now, just to wrap this up, it's pretty simple already. Uh, just because a camera manufacturer doesn't make new cameras or new lenses for this mount anymore doesn't mean it's a dead system. As in like doesn't make doesn't make the cameras or the lenses any less useful as they were before. I'm still holding out hope for that one day when Canon makes a new EFM camera or lens. But you know what, if they don't do it, it's fine. The cameras are gonna be working well and they're only gonna be dropping in price. So that's more for me, I guess. So if you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see some likes in the videos for a change. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, if you wanna talk to me, yeah, leave a comment down below as well. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this where I talk about tech that's probably outdated. And you know, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.